We're here at NTU School of Art, Design and Media. My gym is a student. Indian students have a reputation for being more adventurous and creative when it comes to dressing. They're all very artistic people, so this sort of manifests itself in not only the way they dress, but the way they carry themselves and even the work that they do outside of school. Let's go check them out. I got my fedora from Arab Street, 12 bucks only. I got my top from ASOS, which costs 13 bucks. My pants are $39 from Cotton On. My shoes are from Mondo, 20. I'm known for my hat because I wear it every day. I find that it's easier for teachers to remember you if you have a signifier. So I'm the guy with the hat. So do you have any pet peeves uh, when it comes to school fashion? Yeah. No slippers. Ah. Outerwear, I got it from Forever 21 for about 30 plus. My top is from F21 also. $9 if I'm not wrong. My belt is from gmarket.kr. It's only 12 This skirt is from Cotton On for about 10 bucks. My accessories, this too is from my mom. This one is from ASOS for about 10 bucks or so. This is from Mark by Mark Jacob. And this is the long chain bag. I really like your hair because you know, like, you guys are like Ombre sisters. Yeah. I wouldn't say I have a very specific style, but I do like long sleeve uh, t-shirts, jackets, or even hoodies. I got this t-shirt from Thailand, uh, I think it's about $20. What does your mother think about your pink hair? Well, oh, actually my mom is perfectly fine with my pink hair. In fact, she likes it. The one thing that I would never do to my hair is the number one haircut. Because after going through the army once, I think that's enough. <laughs> I did my hair. It's crochet dreadlocks, it's from Bangkok. I did it for about $140 sing. How do you wash your hair? Once a month, I actually use this like baking soda vinegar solution to like really cleanse it. So I will soak it inside the solution for a while and then let the water run clean. My spectacles is from uh, Bangkok as well, $16. The vest is my friend gave it to me. The singlet is my sister's. <laughs> the legging is my mom. The watch is from Ben Cullen Square for about $15. I really like this bag. It's from uh, Termina 21 in Bangkok for about $16. My sandals, I got it from Bangkok. It's from some vintage night market. Like a abandoned train thing. They just like lay out all these little little stores selling all these lifestyle products and stuff like that. I like to dress really brightly and you know, not really very bland with the crowd sort of. My top is from Marks and Spencer, 70 bucks. And then uh, pants also Marks and Spencer. Bow tie, top men. Shoes were like 20 bucks, I got it from Pasar Malam. <laughs> yeah. A uh, watch is cotton on, uh, 30 bucks. People usually associate Marks and Spencer with like our moms. Biscuits. Or like, oh. biscuits. Biscuits. Look at biscuits. Why Marks and Spencer? Why not like, you know, Zara, Topshop? Like you said, you know, no youngsters actually go there. And I feel like... So you're like, is your, you're the only one, only yeah, piece? Yeah, I feel like that, yeah, a bit unique. So you tie the knot, a little knot at yeah. the end of your shirt. So why don't you just tuck it in? If I don't tie a knot, okay, firstly the shirt sort of like flares out and mm -hmm. I look very untidy. If I tuck it in, sometimes it will like get pulled out again and then I'm like, you know what, just tie a knot. I usually go for eccentric kind of outfit. Anything that's actually out of the ordinary and not conventional. I got this top from G Market, below $20. And I got these pants from uh, Top Man, about $60 to $70 because it was a discount. And these shoes, Pony High Boots, it's about $320 from Depression. As for like my bags and stuff, this is from Bagash. I got it from a Zoot Flea Market, it was about $40. The bag is actually a retro bag, it's from my dad. It's actually older than me, like oh 20 over years. Oh my so cool. Yeah. Where do you usually get your clothes from? Zoo, flea markets or any other flea markets I can chance upon. Nothing beats actually touching and holding the outfits and testing them on. So how do you find out about flea markets? Usually I find them via online. The best places are like Facebook, when you like a certain club's page and then they always promote it somehow. So that concludes our episode on campus fashion. Can't answer this because I'm biased and this is my school, but what do you think? I really, really like how they're able to make really affordable clothes, very stylish, and I also really like the fact that you know, they recycle a lot of their mothers or their fathers' accessories and clothes. So this concludes our campus style episode. We hope to visit more schools soon, so if you want your school to be featured on that F word, do leave a comment in the comment section below, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye!